Hello beautiful soul. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Christine. Welcome to another All Signs Tarot reading. All Signs love tarot. All Signs love reading. This is a collective love reading. A love reading for everyone. You are here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. It means there's something here for you. This is a general tarot reading. Always take what resonates and let the rest go. Let's see what is coming through. What and who is coming through today? It's the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. I think somebody might be coming here with some commitment. Virgo and Mercury energy. And it's coming here with one of my favorite energies, but I love them all. <laughs> they all serve a purpose. Ten of Cups, Mars, and Pisces energy here. This is a new cycle. Somebody coming here with some kind of offer connecting to the Ten of Cups. It sure looks like it. Had you built a life with this person, were you building it wasn't on the table? It's on the table. Somebody's coming in here ready to work this out, ready to do the work. This is somebody who wants to be here. So I just want to be clear that, yeah, Ten of Cups can definitely be around family energy. But that could also be around going exclusive, you know, introducing to families, perhaps even blending families. Let's see what's happening. Your All Signs Tarot playlists are linked below in the description, also on the playlist tab on the channel. You will also find all 12 zodiac signs. And if you're on a twin flame journey, I do channel specific readings for you and they are down below in the description. So feel free to check them out if you're inspired to do so. Thank you for being here, for liking today's video, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Let's see what else is coming through. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us what we need to see. Aho. It's the moon. It's the nine of pentacles in reverse. The ten of cups is back. Yeah, <laughs> this is pretty strong. So nine of pentacles in reverse. Had you built a life together, were you building it? Was it on the table? Obviously, there were some. There have been some setbacks here. But this is somebody who's coming in here to make things right. It's somebody who wants to work this out. And that's the other thing, our Knight of Pentacles coming in. And then here is our Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It's kind of like bringing that Pentacle in finally to get you into that Ten of Pentacles. So had you built a life together, were you building it wasn't on the table? It's very much on the table here. Six of Wands in reverse. There's the Ten of Pentacles right below it. I tell you what, somebody here made a, a decision that they definitely regret. There is some kind of triggering energy here. Like they, this is somebody who does not want to lose you. I don't want to lose you forever. There's a little bit of like they want to communicate. Obviously, there's more going on here. There's a little bit of lack of confidence. You could say Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo energy. It's in reverse. So it could even just be around some messages that they've been trying to send or picking up the phone, that sort of thing. Because you can see also with the Six of Swords in reverse, Mercury energy, Mercury and Aquarius, that, yeah, there's stagnation around the communication also here with the Six of Wands. And that's giving us a 66, and that energy is an out-of-balance energy. So it's like, yeah, somebody who's who's been in, this is like around some fear around communicating. But we saw that Ten of Pentacles coming in, and here it is, literally being uprighted right before our eyes. A new cycle, Mercury and Virgo energy, really long-term commitment. So had you built a life, were you building it, was it on the table? It's back on the table here. New cycle, commitment energy, Ten of Cups, which also we saw coming in and it came back and wants to be your overall energy. So the moon is also here. Oh, yeah, look. They're worried. 
There's a sleepless energy, Nine of Swords, Gemini and Mars, right here with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like a vulnerable energy. What did I do? They're coming back in here. This is somebody who's learned some lessons. Eight of Cups in reverse, Saturn and Pisces energy. Some bad decisions for sure. Were they holding back some feelings? What's been hidden here in the moon? Pisces energy also bringing in Cancer and Gemini. I mean, the crustacean blocking the, the flow. Here, one, one of which, the wolf and the dog, one of which has some fear. The yin energy. The moon is the subconscious energy, but it's controlling the tide, the emotions. So what's been hidden? Yeah, this is pretty strong. Getting this crustacean out of the way, going into that sun energy, the dark to light, the revealing energy, but also wanting to communicate and open up in a very different way. Somebody who has, who clearly has some fear around that, the communication for some reason. And again, it could be just fear around the emotions too, and kind of how things got where they are. Maybe again, whatever's been going on with the commitment energy. I will tell you, there's a little bit of jealous energy here. And I'm, I'm just wondering if it's connecting to the past for some of you, it could be for sure. And they definitely have learned their lesson about that, okay? But it, there's also a little bit of that now. So it's like maybe having seen or heard something that has them feeling a little bit jealous because they're coming in a lot more vulnerable than they have been. And our Eight of Cups in reverse is somebody who's learned some lessons big time, who's coming back in. And for some of you, it could be literal home if there is an actual dwelling involved or maybe even a city, state, country kind of energy. This person has learned their lesson. This person obviously wants to be with you, who wants to come back together. Where were you in that in your relationship, you know? Your your cards are <laughs> are being kind of difficult today. World card is showing up. Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, really interesting. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, giving us a 99, and that's an energy of fulfillment. Nine of Wands in reverse. It's like, yeah, coming in here, somebody waking up, definitely learning some lessons. There's something they've seen or heard maybe that, yeah, is just realizing the mistakes that they've made are really strong. So I don't know what that's around. It's really specific. I feel like maybe something you've said or somebody else has said or something that they've seen. The world card is here. Ace of Wands in reverse. So del yeah, look at that. So it's connected with the delay in I want to say communication, but also just kind of coming in. So whether it's in person or via message, it's also connecting with the nine of pentacles in reverse. So we could be looking at delays and stuff around the commitment that we're going on. If this is somebody who, yeah, I don't know. There's also an energy maybe of overworking something going on that kind of why it's in why you're where you are. So it's connected to the past energy, but it's also connected to the current energy. The hangman. Yeah, Pisces energy. And of course, our major arcana here, this person has been indecisive. This, there's definitely been some power struggles, which I feel like are kind of over, at least around this person haven't really been making any moves, you could say. It's been a only time will tell kind of energy. When you get out of the hangman, you go into the death card, so you start making some changes. So I got to tell you, ego one, just to connect, they're out of that. But there could be other things going on here. They're working something out, you know, here in our four of pentacles in our verse. They're waking up literally learning these major lessons here. And it's connecting with the world card, our last major arcana before you get into the full energy. So the, the completion energy, a cycle ending, a new cycle beginning. It's like karmic debts paid, lessons learned, really strong actually. Obstacles out of the way. So 
themselves, other things, location, cultural, religious differences, what is it? Because they're getting out of their ego, that's clear, but I feel like they're getting out of their way, own way as well with commitment because they've learned some major lessons here and some of the obstacles that are here are for sure them, you know? Of course, we can be looking at other obstacles here too. You know, pentacles, contracts, relationships. So it could be other people, of course, and work or location, that sort of thing. But this is somebody who definitely knows they mess things up. There's regret around that. Who is, who is literally waking up, not sleeping very well, realizing here what they need to do, what they want. Yeah. Look what is here. It's the Two of Cups. And it's coming here with the sun. So it is here. The yin and the yang. Divine feminine, divine masculine energy. The revealing energy. The dark to light. The love here. We could be looking at something really big like proposals. Marriage proposals. Ten of Cups here which came back. Wanted to be in your overall energy. World card energy. Life-changing energy, also connecting us to marriage energy decisions. So somebody making decisions to make this happen, but also life-changing decisions in that they're ready. Because this is divine number, divine timing. Again, completion energy, but also around reaching goals which we can see are you two of cups ten of cups ten of pentacles marriage is definitely here on the table the dark to light energy so what they have been hiding here we talked about that with the emotions the crustacean getting out of the way the fear of revealing that the fear possibly of commitment of next level of marriage the fear of making life-changing decisions so to get out of perhaps for some singlehood you could say but also maybe other situations like this is a long distance energy that is here for some of you it's really strong so like somebody being ready to move again we could be looking at other things here but i tell you what this is somebody definitely who loves you who is revealing that and there is a new cycle energy here the potential the two of cups venus and cancer energy, again, it can be connected to marriage proposals, but these proposals can be a lot of things. So let's talk, let's maybe next level move in. But I tell you, the marriage energy is pretty darn strong here. Knight of Pentacles was coming in in your reading when it began and really connected with me with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and putting that back into the Ten of Pentacles. So again, whether you had built a life, you were building it, or it was on the table, like it's coming in, it's on the table. That was validated when the Ten of Pentacles came and here's our Knight back. I'm ready for this. Now I'm ready. You can count on me. I don't think you could be for, for whatever reason, fear of changing something, long distance energy, fear of the commitment, fear of next level. What was it? You can see the unfastened harness here. This is somebody who's ready. And by the way, I like that they're bringing an apology with them. <laughs> that never hurts. Judgment. Yeah, they're bringing a big apology. Yep. And the truth. Look at that. Justice and judgment. Wow. Right in between the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so were there third party energies? The truth around that. I mean, for sure. It, it can be around a lot of things. That's the thing. We could be looking literally at just the commitment issues. We could be looking at other contracts romantically, third party interference energy around 
well-meaning friends, perhaps. Maybe another, again, a romantic contract. We could be looking at legal issues. It's justice here. Because that's connecting with the Three of Pentacles in reverse, Mars and Capricorn energy. And it's also connecting with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Interesting, Mars and Leo energy. So it's sort of like, okay, I'm, I'll hear you out energy. Yeah, this is, I'll hear you out energy. Also with our Nine of Wands in reverse. Holding on to this Ninth Wand, of course. So... The other, the other eight wands there, the communication connected with the Nine of Swords, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Cups in reverse, definitely coming in here. It's just really, really strong. And I just want to tell you the, the wake-up energy, obviously, the strong wake-up energy of Archangel Gabriel is here, connected to the Crown Chakra, I know, and Archangel Gabriel specifically to the Sacral Chakra, I feel, in the third eye chakra, I see the self-awareness. So that wake-up energy of, you know, Archangel Gabriel. Get some clarity. Make a decision. What do you want? But also a literal waking up in the night here. It's just really strong. What do they want? You. Life with you. It's clear. There, the, and the apology that felt like, you know, here's an apology too. <laughs> right as that energy was coming in, there's a validation that it's a strong one. I mean, it's asking for forgiveness here in judgment. This is this person from the past. And obviously, if you're here and you're resonating, you know who this is coming in. This is for reconciliation. They're clear what they want. They've learned their lesson. They totally regret whatever's going on here. It's, it's like they made a decision. And again, it could be literally, I got to tell you, it's so specific. It could even be around money and that sort of situation, you know, legal issues, whatever they did, because it could be a lot of things, right? We could be here all day. <laughs> they definitely, it's been keeping them awake at night and they're clearly working it out and coming here with the truth. This is an 11, it's a master number, new beginnings coming together. Justice is connected to the heart chakra. Fate, karmic law, spiritual justice. So they got, perhaps whatever this was, it's like they got their their karma for sure. Because it's somebody who, who's learned some lessons here. It's like, yeah, I know, I'm awake. Again, in the night <laughs> is clear, but also literal. The literal, of course, wake up energy, the decision here in judgment. Okay, so this is one of those one of those readings today, what do you want? Make a decision, wake up. I want my person here that I love. I want to be with this person. I'm ready. I'm ready again to either go back into this energy or to bring this energy. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups, two of cups, the world card. Life together, lifetime together. Commitment for some of you, marriage really, really strong. Long, long, long-term energy here with our Ten of Pentacles. The decision that they've been maybe waffling around here waiting to make, judgment is saying, you, you better make this now. And there again, there is some kind of, there's a little bit of jealousy in this energy of like being triggered a little. So it can be for some of you that there's some, you've moved on or there's something new in your life and they've seen it. But this is a strong energy, of obviously, of two people that still very much love each other. And the soulmate energy is very strong. If you're on a twin flame journey, it might mean something different here for you, okay? These are not twin flame readings, but the energy does come through. So that, that's going to be something that you need to discern. I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. Let's see what is coming in. Thank you, Spirit Guides. Angels and ancestors, please show us what else we need to see. I hope. No place like home. Yeah, so things about to change. This is an energy for me of, because there's a wake up call here. Like, what do you want? Get some clarity. 
lessons learned, not sleeping, waking up, realizing they made some bad decisions. You, you're my person energy. It's like feeling at home together, feeling at home with you. It, you know, it's when you don't have to hide who you are from somebody. So there could be some truths here that have been really hard also around the two of you that they weren't telling the truth about or just bad decisions that they made. Yeah, I mean, justice and judgment, that is a karmic debt's paid energy. Also the world card in the upright. That's somebody who did make some bad decisions, obviously is taking accountability and is changing things uh, big time. This is just really clear. This is like, I feel like you are my person energy, like you're my other half energy. Building blocks, I really want to work this out. It's kind of like, I liken this to being at a construction site, you know, where everybody's working together and then suddenly maybe some bad weather comes in and you have to close it down for the day, maybe indefinitely. Maybe somebody got hurt. Maybe co-workers weren't getting along. It's like meeting back up. It's like taking the lock off and opening up the gate. It's a ton. It's a new cycle, building blocks, rebuilding, and it's here with the sun. It's like, a, if you think of it in that way, it's almost like going to this construction site that has been closed down for whatever reasons. For some, this might be literal in terms of places, you know, but the sun is out here. It's clear that there's to hark to light energy. There's a balance, the yin yang energy there. It's working things out. It's a new cycle. You can see the potential here, the sun shining. So it's, yeah, revisiting this ton of pentacles, building blocks, the sun, ton of cups, whether you were there building it or it was on the table. this kind of energy today regeneration that's what that is if you think of it like a mother nature you know a fire and after this the embers have cooled the smoke has cleared the ground is often times more fertile and everything that was growing in abundance before does come back there are things that come up that you didn't realize were there that you don't want there and there are other really great things regeneration a new cycle literally a ton here so this is clear all that glitter so what's underneath it's connecting this person has really learned some lessons from these past mistakes it's also connecting with their understanding of the connection of not having to pretend they're someone they're not community coming together could be around other third party communities too but this is more about coming together for me this energy so there is an apology here too i like this look building blocks peace the sun and judgment it's really strong it's like will you forgive me energy reconciliation is just really strong there is a reconciliation closure energy with judgment. So maybe that's around you, perhaps. Where are you in, the, in your life? Because it's somebody who's definitely kind of panicking, you know? Because they, they want to work this out. They love you. But reconciliation is what is on their mind. Look, and they're carrying in an olive branch. Here, a peace offering, literally. This person coming in, flexible, new cycle again. There might be some kind of compromise that somebody wasn't willing to make. World card, no place like home. It could be looking at long distance travel. Could be, yeah, like really big. This is because this is life-changing energy, life-changing decisions, you know. So whether somebody's needing to make it or both of you, and, of course, making them together. The Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. A lot of long-term energy here. But some kind of compromise that maybe somebody wasn't ready to make, but they're ready to make now. Again, could be really strong around the movement. That's here anyway, just coming together. But I mean like actual travel. But also maybe a compromise around commitment. Something in this next level that somebody was... 
yeah, not ready for or not available for, loyal heart, still loving each other. It's like emperor, empress energy. Look, both, both of you have on a crown <laughs> looking at each other. Owls connected to the divine energy. Guardian of the night, full of all kinds of information. And, you know, owls, they're Scorpios, which is interesting. And they can hold back some emotions, but there's a lot of them. And they do work behind the scenes. The nocturnal energy around this person is really strong. Yeah, just the lover's card, loyal heart. Two people who still love each other is really strong, but there, there have been some stubborn energies here in terms of communication, but maybe also some compromises, some changes that somebody needed to make, needs to make. Nobody was going to kind of give in sort of energy. Treasure Island and a message in a bottle. So that's just pretty obvious. So it can be yeah, phone call, SMS, social media, sort of how things are, how they're reaching out. There's a phone in this bottle, so that's a pretty clear <laughs> depiction. An old and ar archaic phone, but, you know, SMS, social media, that sort of thing. It's floating in the, the divine, so around timing. It's floating in the healing water around the love, too, the emotions. This is an energy of healing. Yeah, I mean, and it's Again, it's like floating in here. So the tide, the moon here, ruling the tide, ruling the emotions, the cycles. So suddenly it's out and the bottle is being pulled away this way. You know, it's like coming in your direction. Things coming to fruition. Also Treasure Island, our turtle here, who can be really slow in the water, but is faster on the land. But nonetheless, here in the emotional energy, the timing coming here with a treasure chest with hearts and stars with the apology is here for sure and again i just gotta validate this okay message in a bottle piece i mean it's clear there's there's please forgive me energy there's an offer that's kind of everything here but it's also somebody who is for some of you it's just really super clear that there's a move you know no place like home, the world card, treasure island, community. So coming together anyway and a move toward you, that's clear. But if you're validating with your, excuse me, resonating with that energy of somebody actually needing to compromise by moving, leaving, changing some life-changing decisions in order for you to be together, that's a validation. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, I'm going to bring in some channeled love messages, messages from their higher self, and then we're going to close your reading. I stay awake thinking of you. Yeah, I mean, that's been here. <laughs> it's just really, really strong. The no place like home energy, too, also does connect with the six of cups energy, the sun in Scorpio. And here with the nine of swords and even the nocturnal energy, of our moon, it's just been really clear, and the Eight of Cups in reverse, that this is somebody who is also awake in the night, even connecting with our judgment energy waking up. So that's really clear. I was stupid to let you go. I want to mention too, again, when you get out of that hangman energy, you do go into the death card energy and you start making some changes. What needs to end, be left behind, aside from ego, because that is here to make the contact. You can see that to apologize. So that's here. But is what is it? Life-changing again, compromising, somebody moving away from something, someone, what is it? I love you. We know. This is eating me up inside. I was stupid to let you go. Hello. Oh, that camera makes me so insane. I was so hyper-focused on your cards, I think, that it missed a couple, which is okay because they're here. So just in case, I'm going to back up a little, okay? I love you came down. Of course, it's here with the Two of Cups. And I stay awake thinking of you is here, which is connecting to everything, the Nine of Swords, to even Judgment, waking up, the Moon, 
even Eight of Cups in reverse, the nocturnal energy, the no place like home, which also connects with the Six of Cups, really nostalgic, staying awake, thinking of you waking up, clear. This is eating me up inside. There is, there is regret and worry here. And there's some jealousy too. You didn't deserve how badly I treated you and I am ashamed of the way I handle things. I was stupid to let you go. And then I was just reading this message when I saw, <laughs> I looked up and I saw the camera wasn't on anymore, which happens. If you're a regular at the tarot closet, it's just a thing these cameras do. It's very frustrating. And I saw this. I really, beep, <laughs> miss you. I'm gonna have to look at the camera for this one. I really miss you and I'm sorry. I love you and I wanna work this out. I want a life with you. It's clear. I am wising up and I'm waking up. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, just as we're talking about that, I just got goosebumps. It's judgment. And this is this is the hangman energy. Again, you get, you get in there and you get perspective. You wise up, you get out of there and you go in the death card and you make the changes you need to make. The transfor transformation around yourself and and whatever you need to change here. And the wake up energy, of course, connected to judgment. And again, a really strong validation of just even waking up in the night. You are my other half. Two of Cups, energy. Missing you. I'm watching you from afar. It's Page of Swords energy. It's so hard not being in contact. And for some of you, again, there is a, a the long distance energy is really strong here today. You know, I know it's not for everybody, but it's really validating if it is for you. It is, it is particularly strong. I mean, that could be, you know, the next town over, but it could also be like a world's apart, you know? You have changed me for the better. Destiny. Fate and destiny. We are destined. That's just been a really strong energy. We are a fated connection. Our destinies are intertwined energy. I think of you 24-7. I spy on you. <laughs> so that's more of that energy. I'm watching you from afar. Of if you're on social media, or maybe perhaps for some of you, you're connected through other people's social media, just looking. And that's the other thing. It's somebody who is really regretting their bad choices. And I don't know, has been seeing or hearing something and is feeling a little jealous in the in the way of just, what did I do? You know, how, how they behave, the choices that they made. They're feeling, I don't know, feeling stupid is probably the wrong word. I think the Five of Pentacles is in reverse. No, but it's here, okay? I just wanted to show, and that's a really strong validation of how much they're missing you. Look, Mercury and Taurus energy. It's a card of loss. It's what did I do energy. Yeah, and worrying. That's what this is. Look, they're, it's like following you around too. if you can see them, but also just even around the communication. I am so sorry. I was stupid to let you go. And your last channeled love message coming in. Message from their higher self, I made a bad decision. It is so strong. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know what that is. Beautiful soul, that is your all signs tarot reading today, your collective love reading. It's been my honor to channel for you as always. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you so <laughs> very much. Why am I just wanting to straighten everything up? Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking today's video, for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. I'm sending you love and light and I'm looking forward to seeing you at another love reading soon. Until then, bye.